I'm Jay Lefebvre. I work for DMC. Ginkgo Bioworks approached DMC with the goal to create a highly automated COVID testing facility. We were able to go from initial concept to final biovalidated laboratory over the course of about nine months. And we couldn't have done it without all the ignition capabilities under the hood. The lab was capable of processing upwards of 100,000 COVID-19 samples per day across uh, its nearly 50 work cells. And really at the heart of all of that is ignition. My name is Paul Mangles. One place where Ignition really shined was processing just the massive volume of data and commands and tag changes that happen and flow through a system like this. I'm Henry Druid, I'm an automation engineer here at Ginkgo. So Ginkgo Bioworks is the leading platform um, in cell engineering. Um, our mission is to make biology easier to engineer. The timescale was extremely accelerated by trying to do things in parallel. Uh, so trying to do some of the design, some of the software work, and some of the hardware installation, all in parallel as the process itself was also changing. The pace of this project, I would say, is pretty unprecedented in the automation world. We had to move really quickly because COVID and the knowledge that we had was constantly changing. Uh, we helped program all of the, or a number of the work cells and PLCs, as well as on the Ignition team, we helped develop uh, a lot of the HMI screens and dashboards that are around the lab. And we also, on the back end, did a lot of the SCADA functionality that related to connecting the different parts of the system together. So there's a lot of different components of the system, PLCs and device drivers talking to the lab equipment, uh, various APIs from Ginkgo relating to inventory and moving parts through. And we, as the SCADA system right in the middle, help broker all that data and connect all the different parts of the lab together. In a large automated facility like this one, um, we are trying to blend a couple of different forms of automation. We're trying to blend um, industrial automation with a lot of robots and PLCs, but also lab automation from the world of biology. And to make these two communicate together, um, we need a smart scaler platform that can bridge uh, between the gap between these two worlds. So the lab is divided in a number of small work cells and each of the work cell really has a single job that is an atomic operation in biology, like centrifuging samples, doing liquid transfers, thermocycling samples. And all of these operations can be stringed together uh, to do pretty much any biological workflow we can think of. Uh, it's a very large scale platform that automates the process of preparing samples for a PCR test and execute the test itself at the very end of it. Biological samples are very finicky uh, in a certain sense. Uh, they're very sensitive to temperature changes, um, to the actual volumes being transferred, to shaking or not shaking. Um, so having a very robust trace traceability platform where we can know exactly what happened to each sample throughout its processing is extremely important for us to know that the process that we design is actually the one that is being executed by the robots. The process events are an auditable record of what happened to each sample as it moved through the lab. So we used Ignition's store and forward capabilities and transaction groups to quickly capture queues of events and log them in a SQL database. And each sample as it went, went throughout the process would produce upwards of 50 different unique data records. That equates to nearly half a million data rows per day and Ignition enabled us to capture all of that data. Ignition's robust support for concurrent development allowed us to have 10 different developers working on the project at the same time while production and testing was ongoing. The ability to do that in a seamless way was really critical to us achieving the timeline on this project. This screen right here is the overview screen. It has a map of the MagnaMotion track and all of the work cells. The rectangles around indicate the status of each work cell. Uh, and then you can click into the work cell to get more details on it. So we can go over here. This is a work cell specific page uh, for controlling each individual work cell. This page is what's loaded by default at each station. Uh, Ignition automatically recognizes based on the IP address of the client which station it's at and loads the correct cell HMI. From here, we can click onto any of the devices and get more details about them. If the device has any manual controls, we can run those here as well. You can see that it automatically populates the correct commands and layout for that device type. This historical plate tracking screen is an example of a dashboard that we created. 
with Ignition to allow operators and supervisors of the line to visualize what's happening inside the system. Across the left side axis here, you'll see various barcodes. Each of these indicates an individual piece of labware making its way through the system. Um, and then each colored block indicates the, an amount of time that that piece of labware spent in a specific work cell. So you can see that these purple ones at the top spent a good amount of time in storage before they started making their way through uh, each of the process steps. We weren't sure exactly what the lab was gonna look like when we were choosing a SCADA platform. And Ignition's flexible licensing model in terms of user interfaces and scalable tag counts really made it an attractive option uh, that made us comfortable we'd be able to respond to whatever the needs of the project may be. A lot of biology relies on small-scale liquid handling between different plates, between different reagents, and these operations can be very time-consuming to do at the bench for a scientist. Once we can leverage the uh, power of automation to multiply the throughput of all these operations by orders of magnitude, we can have a lot more shots at the goal, we can handle a lot more projects at the same time, and we can learn a lot more about the underlying biology as well. This is probably the coolest project I've worked on in my time at DMC. DMC has been great to work with. Uh, they've really taken on all the challenges that we've given them during this project, uh, despite the super accelerated timeline and the constantly changing process because we're learning as we were building the facility, really flying the plane while we were building it. A lot of these work cells are very generic in the biological operations they can perform. Um, and the ignition system will actually take a bigger role as we move forward because we'll be onboarding more flexible, more complex workflows um, that make the bread and butter of the inclusive engineering work.